Cessna Bank was founded in Kazakhstan in 1992. What was the banking sector like then and how are you positioned now? Banking sector has dramatically changed since 1992. The number of banks has decreased from around 200 to less than 40 nowadays, mainly due to tightened uh, regulatory controls and merger and liquidations of uh, weaker banks. Um, Cessna Bank was originally founded in Astana and historically has been very strong in northern and central Kazakhstan, the main grain producing regions of the country. In 1997, the bank's home city was declared the capital of Kazakhstan and since then has developed significantly, becoming not only the new political center of the country, but increasingly one of the major business and economic regions of Kazakhstan. While the city provides with emerging business opportunities for banks, Cessna Bank is expanding to other attractive locations around the country with the aim to replicate the regional success on the country scale. Today, our bank is one of the fastest growing mid-sized banks with a nationwide presence and the universal strategy, providing products and services to corporates, small and medium-sized enterprises and retail customers. We're still very much in the shadow of the financial crisis. How did it impact Cessna Bank? It is well known that Kazakhstan was among the first countries in the emerging markets that was impacted by the crisis, mainly due to its reliance on oil exports and high dependence of the banking sector on international funding. However, uh, thanks to the government's prudent policies, the country entered the turbulent period with significant reserves and low public debt. Now the situation in Kazakhstan is regarded as very favorable. With rising oil prices and growing oil exports, this view is supported by the sovereign rating upgrades by Standard & Poor and Fitch in November 2011. As to the banking system, mid-sized banks recovered quicker than the pre-crisis leaders, which even needed the government support in the form of additional capital and became the drivers of sector growth. As it was forecasted by some industry experts the, and one of the major rating agencies, there were several key success factors that led Cessna Bank to become one of the first Kazakh banks recovering from the crisis. We had no feasible foreign debt and exposure to toxic industries such as construction and real estate, during the crisis, we fully and timely repaid all the wholesale international borrowings, including our debut eurobond and two syndicate loans. Today, we have one of the lowest share of foreign liabilities among our peers. At, uh, it stands at 1% of total liabilities. The compounded effect of the mentioned and other success factors helped us to recover fairly rapidly and to gain a larger market share. Indeed, in the last two years, you've jumped from 14th to 8th place in terms of assets in the Kazakhstan banking sector. We believe that we are now in much better competitive shape than we used to be before the <clears throat> crisis. Over the past two years, our market share in terms of assets increased two and a half times, mainly on the back of increasing corporate lending to high quality customers. As it well known, at the beginning of the crisis, the asset quality of the Kazakh banks was rapidly uh, worsening. I should know that we were among the first domestic banks that started to cope with the growing amount of non-performing loans and established a large loan loss provision in 2008. We were able to solve some issues much earlier than many of our competitors that eventually led us to much quicker recovery and ability to capitalize on opportunities that the, uh, the crisis provided with. Our active lending is funded by deposits. The deposit base increases, increase keeps pace with the loan growth. We became number one bank by custom deposit growth among the uh, top 15 Kazakh banks for 2010. And we are number two for the nine months of 2011. I believe Cessna Bank will be able to remain one of the most trusted banks in Kazakhstan going forward. Our net income has grown as well, reflecting our success in increasing our market share in the country. By financial results of the nine months for 2011, Tesla Bank is one of the leaders uh, in terms of profitability ratios of, of return of asset and return equity among top Kazakh banks. Not surprisingly, we became the first non-state-owned Kazakh bank upgraded by Standard & Poor's in June this year from B- to B. You mentioned you've attracted new high-quality customers. Who are they? In brief, these are corporate clients that were able to survive during the crisis. That, that is, clients having robust business models in various industries. In addition, they have re relatively low levels 
levels of leverage, certain cross-sell opportunities, a good track record and, and, and good credit history in top Kazakh banks. While we were rapidly growing by attracting high co quality corporate uh, customers on the back of rather excessive liquidity, we do understand that this situation cannot continue for a long time. We are not changing our strategy to exclusively targeting corporate clients. What we are aimed at by increasing our corporate loan portfolio is to create a solid base for further cross-selling of our retail products and services to these corporate clients as well. We think this strategy helped us to gain access to good retail client clientele based on base through our corporate clients. Obviously, we plan to be, be more active in lending to SME and retail customers for further loan portfolio diversification. These segments are gradually recovering from the crisis and we want witness the first signs of that. How about qualitative changes? Does the bank have any plans for improvement in terms of quality? Behind the growing market share and improving financial results, there is ongoing work on improvement of our internal business processes that leads to a better quality of our products and services and eventually rises our competitive profile. To name just a few programs, we have implemented the SAP Enterprise Resources Planning System and won an award for the rapid implementation of the project and the SAP Special Award for Quality. We launched the country's most modern call center based on Hawaii technology. We are implementing advanced rating models and scoring systems developed under the joint project with PricewaterhouseCoopers in our credit risk management. There are other ongoing projects in the bank that will definitely enhance our competitive profile. So what does the future hold for Cessna Bank? As mentioned, historically we are very strong in central and northern parts of Kazakhstan. We are going to replicate the key factors behind our success in those regions on a country scale. For the near term, we plan to strengthen the bank's presence in Almaty and main cities of western Kazakhstan, where we see a huge potential. We believe we will be able to achieve that having a successful track record of doubling our market shares in assets, loans and deposits over the last two years. Darren Jacques Shebek, thank you very much. Thank you very much.